What is up YouTube? It's your boy Judd and today we're going to be talking about The Witcher's new animated series, Nightmare of the Wolf. Um, this was a rumor that happened not too long ago um, and it eventually got confirmed. They finally let us know basically what it's going to be focused on. I have an, I have an article from uh, CBR.com, I'll link it down below that we're going to be reading a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read this article, we're going to talk about it a little bit, and we're going to see how, uh, give you guys my thoughts. After months of rumors and mystery, Netflix unveils an animated tie-in film to the action hit series of The Witcher. Without too much fuss, Netflix then revealed that The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, would focus not on Geralt, not on Yin, not on Siri, but a different Witcher. That's what Judd, what Witcher? Vesemir. Vesemir, who briefly, who was briefly heard in the show season finale. I did not catch that, actually. I might have to check that out. Assuming that the Netflix series continued to adapt the events of Andres Boswowski, I probably butchered that name, novels closely, then Vesemir is very likely to appear in season two, which we want Mark Hamill to play. If you guys uh, don't know about that, you guys go ahead and check that out. With that in mind, a tie-in film centered on the old Witcher makes perfect sense as a way to properly introduce him to the audience, particularly those who are not already familiar with the continent. In addition to exploring Vesemir's story would help answer some burning questions audiences might still have about Witchers. Both novel fans and gamers will know Vesemir as Geralt of Rivia's a mentor. He is the oldest and most experienced Witcher at Kar Morhen. That's the, uh, that's the school for the Witcher, School of Wolf. Um, as the ancient keeps that once created and trained the professional monster hunter. In fact, some said he might be as old as the fortress itself. However, his exact age has never been revealed. Vesemir is mentioned a number of times throughout the novels, but the character himself only appears in Blood of Elves and Kara Morhen, where Geralt takes Ciri to hide and train. He is described as being wise and skilled, but the novels themselves are almost content to leaving it as that. His youth and history are never explored, only hinted at when others discuss how the School of Wolf was nearly extinguished. As audiences might have already seen from watching Netflix live-action adaptation, there is tension and hatred between humans and non-humans, especially in the Northern Realm. This is still true in the novels, and it's why witchers who are mutated in the Trials of the Grasses and trained in magic were persecuted. Karmoran was eventually targeted by hateful mobs of human led by mages and priests. The fortress was sacked and many of the witchers within were slaughtered resulting in the loss of knowledge concerning the trials of the grasses among other things. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, that means they're not able to like mutate uh, people into witchers anymore. Um, Geralt hinted at this event in the episode of Banquets, Bastards, and Burials. When Calanthry asked why there were so few witchers on the continent, that's because without the witches, without the trials of the grasses, the young boys who train cannot undergo the necessary mutations to become fully realized witchers, which is one of the reasons why Carmoin, despite continuing the function as a school, has become a shadow of what it once was. It means it's not like at its peak uh, during the series, uh, the Netflix series. Um, since Netflix tie-in film was, will presumably explore some of the most important moments in Vesemir's life as a witcher, it's likely that the attack of Kara Morin will also be featured in A Nightmare of the Wolf, not only just because it sounds like something that grim title might be referring to, but because it would be the most convenient way to explain the star sorry state in which Kara Morin and the School of Wolf will likely appear in Season 2 of the live-action series. The anime film will be bringing something completely new to the franchise by fleshing out the old Witcher backstory, which neither the book or games have done, and in doing so, will showcase both the glory days of the Witcher school and their fall. In the grand scheme of things, the history of the Witcher is not entirely crucial to the overarching story, but it does help illustrate the complexity of the continent, and more specifically, the Northern Kingdom. Since so few details have been release, released, it is immediately difficult to determine precisely how the upcoming film would depict Vesemir. It is entirely possible that the anime film will go in an entirely different direction. We might even see him give, be given a more vital role. The Netflix series has already gave, given Triss Marigold and even 
Fringella Vago greater parts to play in the story, so it's certainly possible that Nightmare Bird Wolf will set Vizimir up for something more. It would undoubtedly come as a welcome surprise to gamers who got to experience Vizimir as a mentor across the three video games. All we know for certain now is that the story will focus on Vesemir and explore his life from childhood presumably to the point which he began to mentor Geralt. His, story, his life and story of the School of Wolf are bound together closely, at least in the novels. The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, remains in any way faithful to Sparkrowski's story. Fans can expect to see some of the most important moments in Witcher history. Witcher star Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia, Anya Carlet. Uh, as Jennifer Vinterberg. Vin the Witcher stars Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia, Anya Jalata, I hope I said that right, as Jennifer uh, Vingerberg, and Freya Allen as a Siri, and Joey Beatty as Jaskier. Season 1 is available on Netflix. Season 2 is currently in development. Oh, man, that was a long article, guys. All right, John, what, what do you think? Um, I'm pretty excited. The people who animated this, or is animating it, is the same people who did Legend of Korra for Av the Avatar series. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too big of a fan of that style of animation. Um, granted, like that was a few years ago, technology has advanced, so we'll see. I was hoping they'd go more with like, I don't know, maybe like a CG, more of a CGI feel, kind of like uh, the Clone Wars do, because I love the Clone Wars animation. Um, I don't know. But seeing Vesemir's backstory, I mean, this is something I'm pretty excited for. I mean, I could I could definitely use to, uh, use that as world building, because the show, uh, the show, all good, it's all great, like, I love the show, but... Um, we got a lot of character development in the show, but one thing that we're not getting is as much world building as I would like. I'd like to know more about what's going on in the world and like the universe itself. I'd like to know how the universe is actually, you know, moving forward and everything. I can understand people don't like witchers, but I mean, why? But let's get let's get more into the world building and like this story that they're currently writing um the animated series they could explore that it could give us more answers it could tell us okay this is why we don't like witches because the games are great okay the books are great but we still don't know why people like why do witchers get as much hate why do all non-humans like a uh, witcher is technically human they're just mutated but why why don't people like non-humans like why don't we like the elves why don't humans like elves um, but these are a lot of questions that this series could answer. I mean, there's theories, there's people, speculations, there's, there's a lot going on there, but why? Um, I think these are I think these are good questions that could be answered. Uh, this show could be absolutely amazing. I mean, there's a lot going on with it. Um, I, I love The Witcher's universe so far. I'm still, still learning, and I'm bringing you guys with me while I'm learning about it. Uh, we did finish the game. We will be putting a review and kind of a... Uh, Kind of little thing going up about the game very soon. The uh, game was great. We'll get more detail in that. We're also going to touch on the Mandalorian um, later, probably later in the week. Um, that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. You guys make sure to slap that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media, and go ahead and leave me a comment below. Um, I don't know. Let's talk about The Witcher, man. What do you guys think of this series? You guys think it'd be awesome? And if you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much. You guys have a very great day. And I will talk to you guys later in the week. Peace.